What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our goalie career. Today, we got the 31st ranked overall San Jose Sharks at home against us, the LA Kings, who are riding a fourth overall 21-10-2. We have had an unbelievable turnaround here in December. We are now currently on an I believe an eight game win streak that includes two wins from Spencer Knight. So he's turned his game on. You can see the stats at the top. It's been very eventful and we're looking to continue it because right now, even with that record, we are still in our division. It's crazy, but we're still just inside a wild card spot. The teams around us are flying. You can see San Jose has fallen off a little bit there, but everybody is so, so good in this conference. It's incredible to really see uh, just how good they've been. But for us, we are now getting another back-to-back -back starts. And I don't mean two games. I mean back-to-back -back starts days. So it's the second time we've seen the coach not use Spencer Knight. It's going to be a tough one, even against the San Jose Sharks team that isn't as good as, as a bunch of other teams around us. It's going to be tough because, you know, this new momentum, this new, um, you know, pressure system with the fatigue, it affects human goaltenders a lot. You know, two shots in my, my health or my stamina bar is completely drained. So it's going to be a tough test. I believe in the boys, though. We're scoring at an unbelievable pace. We're averaging like four or five goals for in this last couple couple weeks so unbelievable stuff here big news coming out of last game was mikey anderson did leave the game with an injury however checking in the defense right here it seems like he's good enough to go so really hoping he's not just playing and secretly has an injury because we can't afford to have more guys miss time but for us like i said just continue to put our head down stop the puck give our team a chance to win games it might take a little bit longer for the boys to get their legs going in this one you can see again with the the way the rosters uh didn't update at the start of season one eric carlson is still with the uh with the sharks Ilya sorokin that big goal dining improvement that they had we'll see if he plays in this one um or if it's going to be their backup goalie but Big up, uh, big opportunity here. It is a rivalry game, so you're gonna see this little cinematic in a minute. But we're gonna have to keep playing lights out, guys. I mean, I can't stress how close the standings are right now. It's crazy, dude. It's so nuts. But tonight we're focused on one thing, one thing only. That is the Battle of LA, or sorry, Battle of California. We got Kings, we got Sharks in the Shark Tank. It's gonna be a tough one. And let's just see if we can uh, squeak out at least a point in this one. Take home three out of four in back-to-back -back starts. I do think it's a little weird. I, I do wish the, the coach would use Spencer Knight. He's playing well lately. Just because, like, look, I'm just standing in my crease, and you can see my stamina bar draining way faster than it does in any other game. So we'll see. I mean, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try and keep the puck out. And hopefully the boys can continue to uh, gel the way they have been because it's been really fun to watch. Thomas Hurdle now in up to Verona. So, I mean, look, I've said a bunch of times, a team doesn't have to have a superstar in this video game to be very effective. But unfortunately for the Sharks, they really don't have that much offensive bite. They have Logan Couture. I believe they still have Tarasenko, but that's really it. You're looking at a line of like Jakob Verona, um, Gostad. That's really it. Thomas Hurdle, who hasn't had a great start to this season either. So, Good line here from the Kempe unit. They've been incredible lately. Same with the Pacioretty line. There's a blast. Bounces off my glove. Thankfully stays out of trouble now. Big blast from the point there and a good block in front. Kaliev will skate this one to the center ice. Doesn't get it down deep. Turned over to Jakob Frana. And Drew Doughty says enough of this. I'll skate this one out. He's got two guys trailing into the center of the ice now. Back behind the net to Arthur Kaliev, who finds Mikey Anderson. And nearly a good opportunity for the captain. And just as I suspected, Tarasenko is still on the steam. But we've been riding some hot games, man. I mean, we've had two shutouts ever since we got the first one against Nashville. We've been playing with a, a, a mental monkey off the back, so to speak. It was never one of those, like, I've been so close in so many games for shutouts. And now we have two in, you know, a, a month of hockey. So it's been really, really fun. These videos have been absolutely crazy just because of how fun and competitive the team has been playing. And a good save there. That's not Ilya Sorokin. I'm not sure who the goaltender is here. Oh, a guy who I can never pronounce. It's like, it's like Nedeljokovic, Nedeljokovic, something like that. I'm going to call him Needles. You can see what Carlson has done on the season. Six goals, 25 assists. 
But when you don't really have an offensive unit in front of you to help you, it becomes a little tougher to win hockey games. They were, look, back in November when we were struggling, there was a time when they were two points behind us for a wild card spot. And apparently Eklund's just gonna shovel this one in past us. A, a garbage goal to kick things off here. I actually have no idea how he put that in. I don't even think he shot it. William Eklund just streaks in past the defenseman, gets the puck while it's bobbling. Yeah, he just shoveled it into the corner. My goalie went down early and he just, I mean, I nearly shut down that corner, but that is a one nothing goal for San Jose pretty quickly into this first period. He has 16 points. I, yeah, you see the leaderboard. I mean, it's two guys, it's Couture, and <laughs> it's like two guys and then the rest have like 15 points. But hey, I mean, give credit to San Jose. They capitalized on a tired LA Kings team. Kind of a, a fluky goal with the puck bobbling like that, but he beat me. It's a one nothing early goal. Any team can score in these video games. I mean, I, I constantly say it, but it's so true. Donato now with a pickup. He has a step on Carlson, but give credit to both those guys as Donato goes wide. Adam Henrique gets it on net, and Nedelvich Needles makes a big save there. Thank you guys once again, as always, for all the love and support. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been pretty crazy these last couple weeks. You guys have been awesome. I love reading all your comments. I love, like, you guys have been supporting in terms of when I play bad or, or things like that. So I appreciate it. It's all it's all love. You guys are crazy. And uh, let's keep pushing, baby. Spence now. Up to Kapanen. So some third line minutes here. I, I hope the coach uses all three lines a little bit more because, look, if you guys haven't played the new NHL 24 game or you're unfamiliar with it, you know, the pressure system you can see in the center ice is actually a really cool addition. Now, a lot of people online are criticizing that it needs tweaking. And sure, I mean, there's a lot of things that get implemented that need tweaking. But I think the pressure system is really good. And it also affects human goaltenders. I don't think a lot of people realize just how heavy it affects goalies. When you're under pressure, your goalie slips up a lot more. And I don't mean physically slips. They just make more mistakes. Like a, a normal shot that I'd be able to, you know take a shot and stay in my butterfly it might knock you over because you just have no energy to stay up when you make a kick save. So in a game where I'm playing back to back, the energy bar, which you can see at the bottom left under my name, drains a lot faster, even by just standing here while the puck's in our zone, than it would if this was just a normal start. So back to back games, I'm not a fan that Spencer Knight's not in this game. If it was up to me, he would be. But now it's, I'm in net. There's nothing I can do. We got to hold down the fort. Hope the team gets back in this one. one nothing game with 420 left in the first period. And a pretty good little turnaround here for the Kings. They've, they've done a good job. Just can't seem to get too many, like, lethal scoring chances on the other end of the ice. But I'm just going to try and do my job, go about my business, not allow too many goals, hopefully. And, you know... Watching that game a couple videos ago, ago where the Byfield scored with 0.9 seconds left to tie the hockey game. Anything is possible with this team, and I strongly believe that. Look, our team's not full of superstars. Talking about teams not full of superstars, our team is scoring in abundance, and we just got a good top six. Dubois now back in his zone. Gets it up to Drew Doughty, who turns it right in front of me. I should probably keep my camera here. We've had goals go in like that off turnovers. Corey Perry to Ferraro. And a good stick there again by Quentin Byfield. He's got Dubois streaking, decides not to pass it. And instead, he'll lose the puck as Couture gets back. Tarasenko gets it up to Corey Perry. The second unit now, Couture, Perry, and Tarasenko. You would think that would be a decent line, but they are not playing very good in this video game. <laughs> Kapanen's going to skate this one out, and that's going to do it a 1-0 period for the San Jose Sharks at the Shark Tank. We'll head to period number two, and... Not a bad period, pretty even on almost every single category. Now we just gotta see if the boys can get, you know, their legs going, second wind, so to speak, and, and get get everything going. Can't pay for the faceoff. Battle of LA, well underway now. By LA, I mean California. Some good hounding the puck here. Second efforts are pretty nice at the moment. Fresh ice, Kempe into the zone. He's got Fiala right in front. That's a good save by Needles. Can somebody tell me how to actually pronounce that? Like, I, I know, I think he played for Detroit, or maybe he still does, but I think it's like Nedeljovic, or Nedeljovic. Maybe that's it. 
You know, does anybody, is anybody familiar with those uh, parodies of the how to pronounce videos? I love those so much. It's like Frappuccino. He's like, Frappuccino. Or Bo Foofer. Bo Foofer. Oh! How do, my glove, please don't fail me. Th this is not the game where I can afford you to fail me, brother. That's an easy save that I just almost threw into my own net. Ferraro was right there on the doorstep as well. Up to Gostad. Gostad will just... Oh, no. Michael, that's not where I wanted to throw it. Yeah, freaking goober. Vrana now. Pressure in the zone for San Jose. Good stick there by Arthur Kaliev. And Ferraro there to steal the puck back. So some good effort there from San Jose. And Gostad find, gets found there alone. A changing San Jose team as Arthur Kaliev skates it. Ooh, for a second there, I thought Kempe had a, an open lane. A big block there from Pickles. Found out Pickles is, Vlasic Pickles is not just a Canadian thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Drew Downey in front. That puck very slowly squeaks to the captain who is somehow right in front of the net. And he just shovels that one through the five hole of the goaltender. We got a 1-1 hockey game. That is Doughty's 10th of the season. What a year this man's having. Unbelievable. Yeah, just unfortunately, I think that's Eric Carlson unable to get that puck. And he just shovels it and Needle's got a piece of it. It just squirted through. So a good goal there. A hard working goal there by Drew Doughty. We got a 1-1 game here. Let's go, baby. 14-31 left in the second and we get on the board ain't no quitting these kings i'm telling you man campe anderson with the assist so good to see mikey anderson is is not knock on wood not injured enough to not play in the games he gets an assist tarasenko tried shoveling that across to Corey perry up to patch ready patch ready with a burst of speed so some fresh legs here shorter shifts it's kind of weird to be a pro because, you know, I've talked about this a lot, but it's usually just the top six that play when you played shortened periods. I do wish that EA could find a way to, you know, even with, even with like five minute periods. Okay, well, a normal NHL shift is like 45 seconds to a minute. What if you just maximum have it so they have to get off at like three minutes instead, instead of playing seven, eight minutes a shift before the next unit comes out. But some nice short shifts, some fresh legs. Tarasenko wobbles that way high. That I thought that beat me for a second, but it was just really high. Doughty hounded there by Corey Perry, the dirty little rat. Perry now in. And yet, yet again, EA. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I just wish EA could find a way to remove this stupid, cheesy AI shit from the game. Watch what happens. And tell me if you've heard this before. Perry shoots the puck. It goes through Mikey Anderson, Quinton Byfield, and somehow lands on Tarasenko's stick in a perfect spot for a wide open net. That that would almost never happen in real hockey. It could, but the amount it happens in NHL video games has been like that since like NHL 2012. And you've never been able to find a way to make it so the puck goes anywhere else but on top of somebody's stick. And it's just, it drives me nuts. It's a goal by Tarasenko. It is a 2-1 hockey game. We got to move on from it. We can't let it upset us too much. But man, it's just a, a NHL 24 aside. This is just an issue EA has had while playing human goaltender for so many years. Here we go. Good response here from this this line. Like I said, put it past you. You can't, you can't get mad at it because it is what it is. Patch ready now. Dumps it back into the San Jose zone. Carlson there. Or at the very least, like, you got to make your goalie respond faster to it. Because, like, I pressed left on my thumbstick as fast as I possibly could. And my guy barely even attempted to move over. Frustrating is what it is. Hurdle now. Thomas Hurdle into the LA zone with Vrana. Vrana tries going short side. We make a good save. And I can't pass that puck out. Oh, now we're just gonna get angry. You never, you know what? You want to know my secret? I'm always angry. We ain't angry, just disappointed. <laughs> Face off here for Adrian Kempe wins it cleanly to Drew Doughty, the goal scorer for LA. Looking to see if their their forwards can get involved. We've been good. Here we go. Oh, he almost had that far side. Good little shift there. Corey Perry now back for San Jose to Tarasenko and Mikey Anderson will. Clear, clear that out. 
Kind of a weird period, honestly. Two goals, one apiece. But it's uh, it's a little sloppy. It's a little less tight defensively, a little more open in the neutral zone. Teams are kind of just walking and firing it on net and then losing it. Kind of like that. Why can't I pass this puck out? Okay, well, I mean, I wouldn't have passed it to you, Kempe, if I knew you were just going to do that, you silly Sam Squanch. Trying to keep this puck alive because, like, faceoffs in the O zone or in the D zone are always hit or miss, and I've been scored on so many times off the faceoff. Here we go. Kempe, you need to get off the ice, brother. You're dead. He was, he was going for the line change. I know it. I know it. And now he's confused. And now he's going to stay on with no energy. Get off the ice. There we go. Oh, Gavrikov! As we switch cameras, the man just has an open berth to the net. And somehow, Gavrikov. What the heck did I just see? Second of the season. Where's the defense? Oh, San Jose. That's not a good look. I mean, you got Kaliev turning around blocking the goaltender, too. What a weird-ass freaking three guys hugging on a Coughlin there. He's part of the celebration, unfortunately. 2-2 <laughs> two -two hockey game. Two goals by the defenseman. We got Doughty and Gavrikov, and we're right back into this one. Unassisted effort. I have no idea how he got in there. Byfield now hounded the puck. We got some fresh legs now. Patch ready. Kings never quit. I'm telling you, Max Pacioretty already back from injury with 10. The dude has another point. He has a point streak since returning. And that's like his 10th point in three or four games since returning. He's on, he's a man on a freaking mission. And another great goal there. Wow, dude. Byfield with a good entry. Keeps his legs moving. Makes a great pass. And Max Pacioretty gets up to 10. And he leapfrogs a couple big names who are also having some good season. 3-2 hockey game. Byfield Gavrikov with the assist. Wow, wow, wee wow. Late stages of the second period. The Kings, back-to-back -back games, have the lead. As all of a sudden, it kind of looks like it's San Jose, who, who's the tired, more tired team. Look, they got a couple early goals. You thought maybe they were, they were able to hold on, but defenseman being involved in a big way and now a beautiful play by the second line who to be fair is outscoring our top line right now patch ready he's got some life tries to get up to Dua, gets it and that guy's just entering the freaking hyperspace behind him glitching through the god dang fourth wall Sturm now in front that puck just bounced wide again i thought that actually went in but a good bounce back, a good period. Second period effort lately has been unbelievable. We got a 3-2 hockey game for the LA Kings. Started with that, a beautiful play by Gavrikov. And it was, who else? Max freaking Pacioretty. We got a, we got a hockey game now, ladies and gentlemen. You got to think San Jose is going to come out flying here. Now, don't get me wrong. They ain't as bad as the real NHL. That San Jose team is the worst NHL team I've seen ever. For finally got their first freaking win. Only took them 15 games. But you can see why the where the struggles come from. They got a good goaltender. Obviously, he's not playing right now in Sorokin. They got Eric Carlson, Vlasic. They're okay on the back end, but they just don't have that up front scoring. They just don't. Even Couture, even Tarasenko, they're just playing on the second line. They not not good enough. Kaliev. He has Kempe in the middle, and then he had Fiala, but a good effort there by the defenseman to hound the puck away. Gostad loses the puck to Kempe, just trying to do too much. Kempe trying to do much. It's another start of a period that looks really sloppy. Jakob Verona now. He'll just fire it out of his own zone. Miscommunication there with his defenseman. Ferraro trying to get in. He'll try and get a shot on net, and it's a good block there by Mikey Anderson. Up to Drew Doughty. Here we go, boys. Fiala in the zone now. Trying to go that low blocker side again. It's worked twice in this game. Why not try it a third? Doughty. It is really weird that on a lot... Unless San Jose played last night too, which they very well could have. That could have been why Sorokin's not in this game. If they played last night, that makes sense, but... You'd think with a team like San Jose or a team like LA coming into your barn, you'll, you'll want the best effort to try and 
Look, we're, we're only in a wild card spot. Yes, we're quite a few points up on it. But, like, these are the games San Jose wants to win, no? No, I'm not saying Needles is playing bad. Like, he's been good. You, you want that extra edge. I mean, Sorokin is the top-tier goaltender in the NHL. Now Tarasenko all over us. Good shot there by Corey Perry. Bobbles it. And, I mean, I wish they'd show, like, a little graphic of his last 10, 10 games. I miss the old graphics. I, I miss the, like, in the last five games, he's gotten four goals and blah, blah, blah. The new ones suck. It's only just hits, and the hits don't matter because it's freaking be a pro. Vlasic now. Zetterlind. Big glove save. Unable to grab it, though. And you can see the fatigue with the glove is starting to set in. Unable to get the puck, you know, as good as we've been able to. Just enough, though, to keep it out. Kick up to, to Kaliev. Now he's hounded there by two San Jose Sharks. Sturm brings it back in. Sturm now in front and a good stick there by Kempe. So nothing able to go through now for San Jose. And Kempe will go all the way down the ice. Carlson now. You feel for Carlson a little bit. Obviously the roster's not saving, so he's not on Pittsburgh. These two are going to go for roughing here in just a minute. Drew Doughty and Sturm. Offsetting miners here. Wait a minute. Nope. Never mind. There's a the guy right there. I thought I saw three LA Kings. It's like, wait, we took two penalties there? Four on four hockey. It's been a while since we've had to deal with that. Carlson with a big blast hits his own teammate in the back. And I mean, that's just that's just the San Jose Sharks season in a nutshell. Winds up for a mat. He, I mean, he's telegraphing. He's going to shoot it. And the freaking poor guy gets eaten alive. A shot right to the back. And now we're having these boys in. Fiala. Can't connect, but some good pressure there from this unit. Four on four. Coglin to Verana. We'll just steer that one in the corner now. Hurdle. Thomas Hurdle. Tries back backhanding it in front. We'll pass it off to Spence, who gets it up to Drew Doughty. Back on the ice. Five on five. You're going to think Drew. Yeah, he's going right to the, right to the bench. Just enough of that one to get it into the corner. We got 6.58. We are winning 3-2. It's been a pretty close hockey game. Pretty sloppy hockey game, if I'm being honest with you guys. But that second effort, second period effort that we saw from the Kings is enough. And this one so far, we are completely drained of energy. And we still have six minutes left. Fatigue setting in for goaltender Michael Webb. Now we'll see if his team can bail him out. Oh, that's a bad goal from... That's a bad goal to give up, dude. I mean, you're deep in your net. That's not that hard of a shot from Dubois. A good play shot off the bump blocker, but I mean, like you're, this is above the circle. It's going wide, I think, too. Uh, Nedelvich, however you pronounce your name. I guess it actually was a pretty hard shot, but still. That's uh, that's a tough one to see. You can see our our season so far looking to get in that 18 win marker with, which is crazy to say with Markstrom because Markstrom was at 18 wins a long time ago. Calgary has fallen flat. We saw their you know we saw them on the standings in the last video. They have fallen pretty far off. So not quite sure what's going on in Calgary. Still in a, a wild card spot, but they were number one in the league for a while. 4:20 left. We now have a 4-2 hockey game. Another game the Kings have put four goals on the board. It is remarkable how many times in a row we've done that. This might be the like eighth game in a row we've had four goals or more. It is just seemingly clicking. We have found an extra set of legs here in a back-to-back -back effort. I got to think San Jose probably is coming off a of back-to-back as well. Drew Doughty. But unfortunately for them, unless something crazy happens... The Kings are going to find a way to steal another two points. Corey Perry in. Mikey Anderson. Puck steers into the corner for Drew Doughty. Minute 50 left. You got to think. Needles is coming out of that. He's coming out of that net here shortly. Vrana. Kaliev helps out. Kempe now. Minute left in the period. And Kempe, you can just see the legs. The legs are just going underneath. We got fresh legs on the ice. <laughs> Man, that's a big hit. Coglin now. 30 seconds left in the period. Up to Thomas Hurdle. And Nettles will go to the bench. And for Kaliev, he had two more steps. He could have just easily put that in. Carlson in front of the empty net. Up to Shvechnikov, who I haven't even seen in this game yet. <laughs> I didn't even know he was playing for the, the San Jose Sharks. 
Just take the extra step, man. But with four seconds left, it'll be Pierre-Luc Dubois who gets a big rebound from a wild, really odd shot. I don't know why our team just walks in, doesn't walk in and fire it in, but Pierre-Luc Dubois will get the rebound. He'll get two on the night, a good effort from him. And I, I mean, you can hear the boo birds coming in now, but I mean, what an effort from back-to-back -back nights. A first period, quiet, till we got our legs. San Jose tired up, weathered the storm. Couple bad goals on my end of the ice, but we will take a 5-2 win here in the Battle of California. And this Kings team is riding as high as you possibly can. Let's go, baby. Hell yes, brother. All right, well, hey, look, I, I don't know if that's our ninth straight win or what, but that man is a big reason why we're doing so well. Max Pacioretty, another gorgeous game, another point, another goal. And that second line just doesn't quit, dude. It's it's crazy. But I don't know why James... Oh, there he is. I was going to say, James Balski show started, and I was like, maybe he shut up for once. <laughs> All right, hey, another good start to these videos, but... This is, the, this is the one I was... They might actually give this to Spencer Knight because we just played back-to-back. -back. Okay, they're giving us the home game against Calgary. Now, look at the Calgary record, 19-16-2. I believe the last time we played them, they had 17 wins, which makes me think they are like two in like six or something in the recent games, maybe even worse. But we know, God, we know this all too well. Every time we play Calgary, every single time we play Calgary, and I'm not exaggerating, Trevor Moore has unbelievable games against us. Unbelievable games. And now he's in a line with Steven Stamkos and Huberdeau. This ain't going to be an easy game regardless of how well or bad they're doing. But for us, we are riding the hottest of hot streaks. And you know what? Let's go ahead and throw on reverse retro night here. In LA. Ooh, that's a nice. Oh, these jerseys are so nice for Calgary. What do we got here? Anything? I mean, their jersey's just good in general. Yeah, I guess we'll just rock their away one. Let's do this, baby. I want revenge. Every time we've played Calgary, our team just does not score goals and we play bad. But with a 22 10 and 2, 22 10 2 record as a team. We're gonna throw on the purple and gold threads. We're here at the crypto.com arena. God, I love these intro cinematics so freaking much. Let's get after it, baby. Revenge time. We lost three nothing last time we played them. Come on, Kings, we got this. I, I'm thankful that the coach has given me the opportunity. I actually thought they'd give it to Spencer Knight here. Some good puck movement. And Rasmus Anderson gets it up to Jonathan Huberdeau. He'll flip the puck down deep. Keep an eye on number 13, Trevor Moore. He likes to eat apart his former team. My God. Kempe now into the O-zone. Mackenzie Wieger up to Steven Stamkos, captain of the Calgary Flames. It is hard to keep saying that, but Jonathan Huberdeau now. And a good two-on-one decides to shoot it, and we'll stick with that one. Kaliev now. Come on, boys. It seems like Calgary always has their number. It's just something we can't overcome. It's like the great freaking David versus Goliath, seems like. Whew. What a hard shot there. And Trevor Moore with a gorgeous freaking freak, man. This this line. I, I, I'm going to get. I'm, I got to get. I'm getting mad now. I'm, I'm getting angry. It's time for revenge. This freaking line, man. Big save on Steven Samkos. It's Trevor Moore winning the puck over Arthur Kaliev. And somehow, how did he even beat us there? Trevor Moore to Jonathan Huberdeau. That is a gorgeous shot, man. I'm not even mad. If, I mean, I'm mad because it's this freaking Moore line again. I mean, look at them. Top three. I, I Dude, you know, you know when they talk about in NHL where, like, teams have, like, mental blockers that they like the Leafs the first round was a mo mental blocker I'm hoping it is anyway and we don't just well one we got to make it to the playoffs and right now we're not playing like a playoff team Markstrom how dare you but my mental blocker is Trevor Moore <laughs> I said when we traded him that I hated that trade 
I hated it. And he has been so good. And every time I've played against him, he has done something special. Nazem Kadri. Jesus, man. This this Flames team is nuts. Byfield now up to Dubois. To Pacioretty. But we got a new body in the lineup this time. And this line is just going right back to work over and over and over again. Make them the first line, dude. They earned it. Kadri. Pokes it free. Up to Dubois. He'll just dump it free as I believe we started a line change. No, just playing a little bit defensive. Rasmus Anderson up to Naz. Nazem Kadri, Jonathan Huberto back on the ice. And with Nazem Kadri all over us, I'm going to have to hold on. Yeah, we, we saw Trevor Moore traded to Calgary three games into the regular season. I don't even think I had my first start yet <laughs> of my career. And this guy has been... Not only just very... Nine straight wins, by the way. Not only has he been unbelievable for Calgary, he has been a pain in my ass since since we've... Every time we play him, man. What a play! Oh, Kaliev has been kind of snake bitten in the last few games. He's made some good plays and just can't beat the goaltender. And of course, of course, we've run into Markstrom while he's red hot. Why not, right? That was a great backhand feed, though. Finds Kaliev streaking. Huberdo now. Up to Mackenzie Weger. Weger with his shot on the glove, and we'll save it. Up to Kevin Fiala, who finds himself around Anderson and tries passing it to nobody. Question mark on that. Ten min not under 10 minutes left in the first period. Doughty will take it away from Captain Steven Stamkos. It's crazy. Kaliev now. And unfortunately, I think Kempe was just offside there. Yeah, it's very weird seeing some of these people on different teams. I think this one makes sense. I mean, if you look at real Tampa Bay, uh, they're not even offering him a contract right now, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So it makes sense. The, the one that didn't make sense was Austin Matthews. Like, if you're going to leave, why the hell are you going to St. Louis? I mean, that ain't a team I thought I'd see a seven-year contract by Austin Matthews. But for Steven Samkos, this makes sense. I am a little shocked that they gave him the C. I think they're, you know, people that have been there a while that might deserve it more, but not that he, you know, it definitely makes sense in terms of who he is, but Pellets here now up to Anderson, Rasmus Anderson, up to Coleman. Coleman has a body in front and a great. That was a combination of a great defensive play mixed in with B moving over to try and stop. If the So I moved over in case the defensive play didn't work. But it was a great stick that he then lost immediately. And Comfort gets it every time without fail. I just shouldn't have moved. I should have just trusted the defenseman. That one was actually on me. I went to the left because I didn't think he would be able to stop the puck. He stopped the puck, but then he lost it. And because he lost it, I'm I'm in nowhere, no man's land. And I don't know, man. I, I need to stop playing against Calgary. I need to. I don't know what it is, dude. Focus up here. Come on. I don't know. I just have something in my brain that just subconsciously eats at me. Kulikov now. Up to Jonathan Huberto. Dude, wouldn't it be fun if we met Calgary in the playoffs, though? I'd be terrified, but it would be amazing. Dude, this fucking lot. Get me out. Get me out. Pull, pull me, please. Twenty-third goal of the season. That is Trevor Moore once again beating our defenseman. Makes a beautiful pass, and Huberdeau wastes no time for a tic-tac-toe like goal. And Steven Stamkos, Huberdeau, nearly tied for the lead in points in the league, and. I, 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 Spencer, are you ready, brother? Can I pull myself? How, how do we, do I need to buy like a voodoo doll and put a Flames jersey on it? Like, let me know in the comments. What do you think? This is all just a mental hur hurdle, right? Like, it's got to just be a mental hurdle. Not Thomas hurdle, a mental hurdle. I mean, it doesn't help that 
the the team can't find any offense and i'm not using that as excuse because i've already let in three goals it's only the first period but like I, we all just have some sort of freaking we we've just come off nine straight wins where we scored at least four goals in every single one of those and we are running into either a really hot markstrom or can't find ways to bury the puck we've had multiple cross creasers that he's robbed well three nothing already I don't know. I don't know. I think the coach needs to do his homework and know that I suck against the Flames. Kevin Fiala now in. Loses it to Nazem Kadri, who gets hounded by Kempe momentarily. Up to Dubé. Seven seconds left. Please just get me into that dressing room so I can have a nice cold shower and think about what I've done. And I mean, it is just. <sighs> Look how fast this goes in. Like, dear Lord. All right, second period. The Kings never quit. I, I hope I can say that at the end of this. Does Trevor Moore have two or three points against us? I need to stop thinking about him. It's, it's, it's the transaction that changed my life. I didn't even know it at the time, but it did. Rasmus Anderson in now. Loses the puck to Drew Doughty up to Kempe. Kempe now. In with a burst of speed. He has Kaliev going to the middle, but loses it to Jonathan Huberdeau. And that puck gets rocketed down into our end. An icing. Wow. Come on, boys. We got a nine-game win streak riding on this. Also, I want to go back and see who ended our nine-game win streak at the start of the season. Was it Calgary? Did we lose 0-3 and that was the start of our... I would be pissed. Get out of here, boys. God damn. This line is the best line in NHL. Change my mind. Uh, we need the Byfield line on against them. We need some bigger bodies. Anderson now. Nice win there by Kempe. Up to Kevin Fiala. Here we go. The Kings never quit. Adrian Kempe, a nice feat to find him coming straight through the middle. And a backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, a little bing, bang, boom. Oh my gosh. And he just cleanly beats the goaltender who is left out to dry. Oh. Kempe's been on one here lately. Let's go, baby. Adrian Kempe with his 29th point of the season. Gets another goal. How many does he have now? 11. It's hard to believe that a few games ago he had five. It just shows you how well we're scoring. Steven Sanko's back on the ice here. And a poke check there by Mikey Anderson. Kaliev needs to get going here. And, and, and I know he's having a phenomenal season. But I've just noticed in the last few games he's kind of been out of position. Hasn't really been doing much. I suck. I mean, can we not give Huberto a breakaway, first of all? But I just bit so fucking hard. He barely moved the puck to the left, and I moved so far out. I can't with this line. How is he free? How is he free? Trevor Moore, you're such a pain in my ass, dude. I'm not joking when I say this. The coach needs to get me out of the net. Trevor Moore finds a streaking Huberdo. I, 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 I don't I don't know what we need to do as a team to shut that line down. Oh, well, I just made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake playing that, didn't I? This is this is my worst nightmare. You're seeing a full man uh, living out his biggest fears in life, which is the, apparently the Calgary Flames. Oh, nice little shot there by Mikey Anderson. Another good rebound shift. What is wrong with me? Why why do I struggle so much? I feel now, Dubois. He gets hit very weird. I actually thought that may have been a slash to the hands. Kadri now. Nazem Kadri trying to get in. 
<laughs> it's so I don't even know what to say. Like this is just such a weird feeling. I just I just subconsciously getting owned. All right, still in it. Three goals, half a game remaining. 12:28 left in the second period. Kali of now. Up to, I don't like that pass. You were wide open again. Just take a shot. So the extra pass there gets us in trouble. Steven Samkos up to Jonathan Huberdo. Yeah, all three of these guys, I think, have three points, Cheryl. I know. Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Markstrom, 18, 12, and 0. He was at one point at like 15, 3 and something. So they have been struggling. They've lost their last two. There we go. Big hit at the blue line. Why would you turn back into him? Kaliev looks off. I'm going to call him out. Please be better. Oh, no. Boarding. Haven't seen that in a while. Uh-oh. 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 Focus up. Two minutes of penalty kill. This will be a big momentum boost. Mangiapani loses the puck. Kadri and I actually thought we took another penalty in the corner because that guy hit him for literally no reason. That could have been interference. Good clear there. Minute 30 left. Mangiapani in. Trying to get set up with Dubé. Oh, no! This game sucks! Okay, please pull me. I'm actually asking to be pulled. I need to be pulled. Did you guys just see what happened? I can't catch a break against the Flames. Yeah, sure. Blame me. I mean, you can say it was me, and I'm fine with that, but that tip was nasty, and the puck's right there, and our defenseman can't grab it. So it's a, like, look at this. There's the tip. That's the tip that caused my goalie to be slightly out of position. Get down, make the save. Huh? Dude, EA has a problem with their goals. Get me the freak out of this. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I know I shouldn't be cheering for being pulled, but dude, there's just something about this Calgary team that I can't, I can't mentally get over. This is the roughest game I've had in a while. I don't know what else to say. What does the coach say to me? I had to get you out of there. Don't let this one rattle you. Oh, it's rattling me. Oh, it's rattling me because it happens every freaking time we play the Calgary Flames. I don't know, man. I don't I don't know what to say. I can't play against the Flames. <laughs> all right. It is what it is, guys. The the streak of nine straight wins, I do believe, has come to an end. We'll, we'll have... Oops. Shut up, James. I don't need to hear you after that. 7-2 loss. So even our other goalie allowed two goals. We only scored one more. It's just, it's, look, I mean, let's have a look at our, our record this year. I mean, or I guess I can't go back to last year. We lost 7-2. We lost 3-0. We did get a win to start the season against them, 5-4. So, so far they have the season battle 2-1. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. I can't play against that team. Thankfully, the coach didn't punish us. We'll get another opportunity here against an Arizona team who looks to be doing pretty good. Looks to be doing pretty good. That is my first bad game in a very long time. It is what it is. Like I said, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Trevor Moore just, he hates, he hates us, man. And the worst part is I, I subconsciously let him. He's, he's just living rent free in my brain. But those games are bound to happen. Look, we just went on a nine game win streak as a team. We just lost that one. We can start a new one here. This is New Year's Eve. So we are on the brink of entering 2025 in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies for that last one. I hope you guys got a laugh out of it at the end of the day. Like that one's a funny one. It is what it is. Until the next one, make sure you guys take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll catch you back here next time. Bye guys.